Welcome to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me, where today I want to talk about burnout. Every so often I'll go to a convention and I'll do a panel and someone will come up, up to me and say, how do you keep your love of anime? How do you keep watching anime? Because I just don't really want to watch anime anymore. And you often see this, this burnout in the people's eyes. You see this depression in their faces. And so I want to talk really quickly about that. First off, burnout is normal. Most fans I know have gone through periods of burnout. Some of them last a long time. I personally have had burnout that lasts for months. And I'm talking six to nine months at a time where I just would watch no anime. Maybe an episode here or there. Um, you know, maybe somebody was watching anime, so I'd sit down and watch it, but just the interest was not there. That's okay. Couple of thoughts on that. First off, you can burn out on anything, right? There's, there's no reason to expect that whatever you like, you're going to like it exactly the same intensity for the rest of your life. So it is totally okay to have a dry spell. But tactics, how do you, what do you actually do? A few suggestions. First, don't fight it too hard. Uh, don't go back to anime and try to force yourself to watch a lot of anime. It sometimes works, but in general, I think it's best to just sit back, relax, and just not watch anime for a while. Give yourself a break. Watch something completely different. Watch some documentaries. Um, watch some how-to videos. Uh, just take a, a, a break from... Actually, fiction in general is not a bad idea. Um, so just let yourself relax for a while and just try something else. I should point out, importantly, some people become otaku, become fans of anime, and then it they move on to other things. It's not a moral failing for you to get into anime for a few years and then just get out, right? Uh, you liked it, you liked the shows you, you watched, uh, but it's just not for you long term, that's fine. Um, but if you're worried about it, if you're upset about it, that's often a sign that you do love it on some level, but you're burned out. Okay, so first off, don't force yourself too hard. Secondly, watch other things. Thirdly, pursue your favorite genres within anime. A lot of the ways that people get burned out in anime is that they focus on the anime coming out right now. Um, and the folks, the anime that folks are really talking about, while their preferred genre may not be popular at the moment, so those shows might just not appeal to them. Uh, you know, if you're a big fan of big space opera science fiction, there's very little of that in any given season of anime. So if everyone else is, you know, why aren't you watching the latest, uh, you know, Magical Girl show or the latest, you know, Slice of Life show, you may try that and say, ah, they're okay, but it's kind of not for me. So go back and look for those shows. One great way to do that is to search for classic, name of genre, anime. So classic... And try to be reasonably specific. So classic um, space opera anime or classic epic fantasy anime. And then open all the tabs, right? Don't just go to the first one. Open a whole bunch of tabs on all the different lists that you find. And then start going through there and look for shows that show up over and over and over. Because you don't want to get too wrapped up in one individual person's top ten list. Because uh, people have idiosyncratic, you know, uh, tastes. So look for the things that show up a lot in these lists. And then dive into them and try them. It doesn't matter if that anime came out 10 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. It might still be your favorite anime of all time. You won't know until you've actually watched it. Um, also, by the way, beware of people's strong opinions about the show one way or the other. Um, you'll see a lot of people say, oh, you don't want to watch a show from the 70s. They all look terrible. 
depends on the show. Um, it depends on your ability to to deal with and, and to appreciate older shows. Um, a lot of people just can't watch older anime, and I personally think that's a little bit of an artistic failing on their part. Um, it's like saying, I, I can't watch a piece of impressionistic art because it was painted 100 years ago. What? It's all just art. Now, certainly the animation style is different. You don't have to like the original animation style. Um, there's certainly animation styles across time that I'm I just... just eh. But don't worry, in other words, don't automatically assume that you're going to hate a show just because it was made in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s. Give it a try. And especially these days when so much anime is available uh, streaming, when so much available anime is available, legally, you know, like, you can just go and get it. It's, it's fine. And, um, and a lot of it's available on DVD for cheap. You know, go on Amazon. Look, look for used DVDs on Amazon. You can get some of this anime for five bucks. And give it a try. See what you like in that, you know, in your favorite genres. Often you'll find you don't want necessarily to keep up with modern anime. And by that I mean you don't have to spend most of your anime time watching newer sh shows. You'll watch some, but you may end up spending much of your time watching anime that came out 5, 10, 20 years ago. That's okay. There's tons of it out there. Th there's nothing worse about anime made 10 years ago than anime made today, believe me. Um, nothing inherently better either, but... So, give yourself a break. Try stuff in genres you like. Um, and I would say, in general, <sighs> relax, you know? Um, find something to do that excites you and invigorates you. It may be a completely different hobby. And this isn't just about taking a break. Burnout is not just about disliking something or about shifting gears. It means you have overdone it on some level. And it's it's important to allow that in yourself. It's important to sit be able to sit back and say, look, I have gone too far. And that's okay. You don't often you don't know that until you've actually done it. So it's time for you to make a change. So go ahead and make that change. Relax. Try something different. Look for anime and genre, genres that you really, really like. One final suggestion is to look for classics in general. In other words, just look for a classic anime. Or even you know classic fantasy anime, classic science fiction anime. And same thing, open all the tabs and go through all those lists and look for things that crop up a lot. Because you will sometimes find that you're not necessarily burned out on anime, you're burned out on your favorite genres of anime. You need something different. You need something from a completely different angle, different perspective, in a genre you normally wouldn't pursue. Worth checking out. A lot of folks don't think they're going to like Cowboy Bebop. And they're like, Cowboy Bebop, okay, it's a thing, whatever. And they watch it like, oh my gosh, where has this been all my life? Um... Try something. Just go out there and try something completely different, and sometimes that's what you need. The last time I was in a burnout mode, um, I hadn't watched anime in months, and I felt really bad about it. What brought me back is an anime called Good Luck Girl, which is about a poverty god who is trying to make an incredibly lucky girl realize that her luck is dangerous um, but the girl well it doesn't matter it is this ridiculous silly fluffy fairly pointless show there are good moments in it but it is very much a turn off your brain and enjoy it that's not the kind of show I'm typically into I like comedy and stuff but not that kind of a show that is what I needed that's what got me back into anime and it's not because of the show. It's because I needed a I needed a show that was the exact center of anime. That was just all of the things about anime. A, a, a completely stereotypical anime series. That had all the things that just you expect to have in anime. Even the cliches. 
even the, oh my gosh, okay, here comes the fan service. I just needed that at that moment to recenter myself, to remind myself of what I do and sometimes don't like about anime. Without preconceived notions, without expectations, without, I need to watch this. So, give yourself a break, try some different stuff, hope this helps.